How you doing? Wicked Diggy here. Uh, I'm out at a park that I've been to a bunch of times. Uh, so far I've been here about five minutes, about 7 a.m. Beautiful day out so far, about 45 degrees, supposed to warm up really nice. So, um, so far I've dug two holes. I got a broken light bulb um, and I got a uh, modern dime. Um, so now I just dug another signal. Nothing super special, but it's a weedy. So better than a modern dime. So uh, I'm gonna show it to you and we'll keep plugging along. So there's the weedy, it's about seven inches down. I haven't got a date or anything off it yet. It's like a 44. So 44 weedy. Well, I'll take it. See you on the next one. So there is a lot of modern change inside this park, of course. Um, so I just dug a nickel like right over here modern nickel just got another signal 24 And I believe we have a Buffalo Yes, we do I wonder if we'll get a date on this. Oh, yeah 1936 it looks like awesome She got four legs. Awesome, buffalo nickel. We'll take it. All right, so I'm getting a really nice tight signal here. I'll show you what mode I'm using. So I'm using park mode here. Um, full sensitivity, I'm not notching anything out. I have my eye and volume up because I like to hear it. Um, so we're gonna try to do a live dig here it seems kind of deep let's see what it is see if we have anything good oh it's a curse of the live dig and uh, dig some junk so just gonna Well, it's in the plug, so it's not as deep as I thought. So, I'm gonna say, with those numbers, not, <laughs> Man, I don't know what this is, just a piece of junk. I don't know if it's uh, something that was silver plated or not. I doubt it. Eh. I don't know what it is. Probably a piece of aluminum. But oh, we'll clean it up. Curse of the live dig. Lots of junk. Lots of junk inside this place. Um, pull tabs. I've already gotten like 10 pull tabs. So, well, we'll keep plugging along. And I'll keep you posted. See you in the next one. So, I was just getting a penny signal here. It was only an inch in the ground, basically. I popped a plug and it was sitting right there. It wasn't a penny though. It's this thing. Don't know what it is, but it's pretty neat. Some guy saluting. I can't tell if he's got a headdress on or what it is, but wish the whole thing was there. Nothing else on the hole. I already checked it, but hey, pretty neat. I like weird different stuff, so that's wicked cool to me. And uh, we'll see you in the next hole. I was walking up a little path and I came in the woods here because I happened to see some flowers and these holly trees right here. And a little hole looked like it might have been a foundation. It's got a really good signal in here. I think I dug up an old ring. Oh, that's pretty shiny. It might be sterling. I don't really know. I have to clean this up a little better and uh, see what's going on here. Huh, interesting. Well, I'll let you know if it's anything good. So I cleaned it up a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is nickel and silver, so it must have been silver plated. But, eh, pretty cool. It is a ring indeed. See you on the next one. So that's where I dug the ring right there. I went right here, got another good signal. I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be a rain's guide. Not 100% sure. 
might have been some type of little rains guide or something else uh, for a house that was here but pretty cool it's a relic for sure keep plugging along here this simplex I'm telling you, I just got an incredible signal almost didn't dig it because it was under this huge root can you see it can you see it oh man A Ben Franklin. A Benji 1952, I believe. Oh man. I'm not gonna rub it anymore. I'm gonna get some water on this thing. It's the first half dollar I've ever found. Sweet. Alright. Oh man. It's the biggest silver I've ever found. First half dollar. Like 1952 right under a tree root oh man whoo big silver today oh yeah all right I'm not gonna rub it anymore we put it in the pouch and keep going just getting a signal it's on just like a pull tab you can see it's a pin and that, that pin is very thin. It's all bent up. I don't know if there's any type of writing or anything on it. Oh, looks like a butterfly. Yeah, maybe it's a. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just a pin with a butterfly on it. Or a couple butterflies. Yeah, it's got three butterflies on it. Huh. Alright, cool. Cool little find. Keep plugging away, see what else we can get here. Signal down about five inches in this hole. This is what come up. Not really sure what it is. So I thought by the looks of it it was a watch winding key, but I don't think so anymore. I don't know what it is. It seems to be pretty old. Well, let's clean it up a little better and take a look at it, but that's what it is. On to the next one. So I just popped this bad boy up. Not sure what this thing is. Looks like it's got a dragon on it or something. I don't really know. A snake? Some kind of plate for something. All kinds of uh, Japanese writing on the back of it too, or something. I have to clean that up to see what that uh, see what it looks like. I wish the rest of it was here so we could see the thing complete. But looks like there was a hole in the middle. I don't know if this was a big old belt buckle or what. I mean, that'd be big, but hey, who knows? We'll clean it up. Check it out later. We'll keep on digging. The next hole is about six, seven inches deep. Look at this thing. I think that is a watch winding key. If it is, it's the first one I've ever found. I gotta clean this thing up and see. Man, that is cool. It was screaming at me. I thought it was gonna be a silver coin. Cool, so cool. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Wow, that's wicked awesome. Oh, I love it. All right, now on to the next hole. Got a nickel way down deep, and it looks a little shiny. I'm hoping that it's a war nickel. Let's get it in the sun. Oh, it's gotta be. They never come out like this. 1943 or 45? See what's on top of the Monticello here. If I can get my phone to focus. Yep, P Mint Mark. I think it's. Let's see if we get a better look at the date here. Ah, 
I think it's a 43, but I can't tell right now. Sweet. Jefferson one nickel. Another silver for the day. Awesome. On to the next one. I'm getting ready to uh, leave here. I only got a couple minutes left. I just got a um, 70s signal. I see it down there. I mean, this thing's deep down there. It's like eight, nine inches deep. Can you see it? I'm gonna try to. Get it out slowly here. It's broken. It's not complete, but wow. It's got a crack here too. That is a big old spoon bowl. In the middle of this park, way down deep. Love it. Awesome relic to love getting spoon bowls, man. Love it. It's awesome. Cool. Well, this might be the last hole. Might have one or two back uh, on the way back to the car if we get anything good, but other than that, we'll see you on the next one or at the wrap up, one or the other. All right, so I left my uh, finds container at home on accident going out this morning, so. Just to show you, I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a big old bag of trash that's all from this morning. I emptied this pouch and dug all kinds of junk this morning, or today. Um, oh man, the lighting is terrible. Oh, there we go. If I move out of the sun, then we got some stuff here. So, those are all my finds for the day. We have the modern change up in this corner here. With all the modern change I dug. This is a little sinker, a butterfly pin. Um, this is a coach bag tag or something. Um, here's that big piece of something. I have no idea which way it went. Pretty cool. Um, watch winding key, which I absolutely love this thing. It's, it's like beautiful, shiny, just awesome, so cool. Um, this piece. I don't know what it is, but it's very green in the middle. I don't know if it was some kind of light or something or what, but that's pretty cool. Rain's Guide. Um, some fancy cap to something. Got the Buffalo Nickel, which is a 1935, I think. I, I don't know if you could see it better on here. Maybe if my phone will focus, you could see it better, but... There we go. So there's a Buffalo nickel. Uh, got the 1943 war nickel. So we got some silver on that baby there. Uh, a couple little trinkets. I don't know. It's like a little tiny hook and something else. I don't know what they are. Don't know what this is still. Um, half a person basically saluting. Um, we got a nickel ring that was silver plated so it says nickel and silver on it inside here somewhere it's an old ring for sure um, got another broken sterling ring with a moon on it so I'm sure that there was a star or a sun on the other side or something but this one does have the 925 on it um, little cloth button it's iron back like a cloth cover to it, probably not very old. The Big Spoon Bowl and Big Ben, 1952, silver half dollar. Very happy with that. This was a great day, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.